For decades, scientists around the world have been researching nuclear fusion as a clean and sustainable source of energy. And after years of trials and tribulations, the biggest breakthrough in nuclear fusion has finally happened, in France, at the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, scientists successfully ignited a plasma, reaching a temperature of over 150 million degrees Celsius, and sustaining it for more than a minute. This incredible achievement is a significant milestone in the field of nuclear fusion, which has the potential to revolutionize our energy production methods. Unlike fossil fuels, nuclear fusion does not produce greenhouse gases or harmful waste, making it a sustainable and clean energy source. But how does nuclear fusion work? In a nutshell, nuclear fusion is the process of combining two light atomic nuclei to form a heavier nucleus. This process releases a tremendous amount of energy, and it's the same reaction that powers the sun and other stars. To achieve nuclear fusion, scientists must create a plasma, a gas-like state of matter made up of positively charged ions and free electrons. This plasma is then heated to incredibly high temperatures where the atomic nuclei collide with each other, creating a fusion reaction. However, the challenge with nuclear fusion is containing the plasma in a stable environment where it can continue to produce energy. The ITER reactor is designed to achieve this by using powerful magnetic fields to contain the plasma, preventing it from touching the walls of the reactor. The successful ignition of the plasma at the ITER reactor is a significant achievement in this field, but scientists still have a long way to go before they can harness the full potential of nuclear fusion. The next step for ITER is to sustain the plasma for an even longer time and increase the overall energy produced by the reaction. Hey guys! I came here in the middle of the video, asking you to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, because there is a lot of special content every day. Keep watching! In conclusion, the successful ignition of the plasma at the ITER reactor marks a significant milestone in the field of nuclear fusion. While there is still much work to be done, this achievement brings us one step closer to unlocking the full potential of this clean and sustainable energy source, the potential benefits of nuclear fusion are immense. With fossil fuels predicted to run out within the next century, alternative energy sources will become necessary to maintain our standard of living. Additionally, nuclear fusion has the potential to significantly reduce our carbon footprint, making it an essential tool in the fight against climate change, despite the potential benefits of nuclear fusion. There are still significant challenges that must be addressed. One of the main issues is the high cost of building and maintaining fusion reactors. A single reactor can cost billions of dollars, which makes it difficult for governments and private companies to invest in the technology. Furthermore, there are safety concerns associated with nuclear fusion. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors, which rely on a process called fission to produce energy, fusion reactors do not produce nuclear waste. However, there is still the risk of accidents and radiation leaks, which could pose significant risks to public safety. Despite these challenges, there is growing optimism that nuclear fusion could help solve some of the world's most significant energy problems. Governments and private companies are investing more money than ever before in fusion research, which could lead to more breakthroughs in the coming years. Ultimately, the successful ignition of the plasma at the ITER reactor is just the beginning of a long road towards harnessing the full potential of nuclear fusion. It will likely take many years and significant investment to make this technology commercially viable, but the potential benefits for the environment and human society make it an investment worth pursuing.